What's up guys, today we're going to be opening up some epic old school product including a Forbidden Legacy Blister Pack with LOB Metal Raiders and Spell Ruler and possibly a Blue Eyes White Dragon Secret Rare and we'll be opening some reprint packs, LOB and Pharaoh Servant. This is going to be a lot of fun but first I wanted to announce guys that I'm going to be activating my channel memberships. You can join by clicking the join button below. If you join, you have two options. You can become a level one member that has access to Discord, which I've been doing with Patreon. Now we're gonna combine them. So if you're either a member of Patreon or YouTube membership, you'll be in the chat, as well as you'll have access to custom badges, as well as custom emojis. So there's some cool stuff that I made for you guys that if you guys are members, you can put it in the chat. Your name will have a little badge next to it. And gradually through time, it'll upgrade. And that first membership's $2.99 if you guys wanna do that. Secondly, there's a level two membership at $7.99 where you'll get all the same benefits as level one, as well as there will be a monthly video or live stream for members only, and possibly more when I get less busy that we might do a couple more things for the members, but that's the second option if you guys wanna support a little bit more. Also, I wanna mention, none of that is required to, to watch the channel. Obviously, you can still watch all the same videos. I'm not gonna be shortening up any, I'm not gonna do like less videos because of this or anything like that. There will just be that additional video or live stream for members and the members will have access to the Discord and all the badges and stuff like that. So I wanted to announce that that is now available below if you guys wanna join. I appreciate all you guys supporting me because that just means I can put it back into the channel, buy more cool, cool stuff for you guys. And again, it is not required. I appreciate all you guys who support even if you don't join the membership, the likes, the comments, and the views, and all that stuff is, is really great. I appreciate it. And since I announced a big change in the channel with the memberships, not really a big change, but a new thing in the channel, we'll be giving away a booster box in this video. So we're going to give away this Phantom Rage booster box sealed. This is from the case where we pulled the Starlight Hita, so probably not a Starlight in here. There could be a Starlight, though. Uh, we did have the double one that one time. So... You guys have a chance to win this. All you gotta do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you wanna see from this epic opening. And let's go ahead and get past all this awesome stuff that we're doing, but uh, let's get into the packs. That's what I'm really excited about. All right, let's start off with these, and then we will go into the Forbidden Legacy last, I think. I think that's the way to do it. Let's start off with PSV Pharaoh's Servant. Guys, let's just go ahead and say it now. We are not pulling a Genzo. There's no possible way. We've pulled Genzo way too many times. If we pull it again, then there's something going on. Somebody's cheating. I don't know what the deal is. Seven completed. Yeah, monster recovery. That's a good way to start. We just need some rares. We need some rares <laughs> to keep it a little bit calm here. A little, not too crazy. We don't want it to be too crazy. Okay. Attack and receive. Here we go. Bubonic Vermin. Steel Ogre Grotto number two. Minor Goblin Official. That's a short print in the OG packs, but in the reprints. By the way, these are reprints from either 2013 or 2017, probably 2017. Um, so yeah, they don't have short prints or anything, and they also don't have hobby retail, so you can get either Secret Rare, which is actually kind of nice. I wish they'd done that originally. Invitation to Dark Sleep. Ooh, a Nobleman of Crossout. I think the best Super Rare in the set, so that is a good start. Nobleman of Crossout. I think it's a few dollars, maybe like four bucks. Pretty good. All right, then we have Skull Invitation, uh, Light in Intervention, Flying Kamakiri, and Dark Fire Soldier. So we have a Super Rare. One that I'm happy with. I've pulled a lot of Nobleman as a cross out over my, in my, not over, <laughs> in my day, but that's a good one. That is a good one. Here we go. Let's try and pull something else good. We have never pulled a Buster Blader. I say this every single time, and we never pull it. We just pulled Jinzo. Mirror Wall. Okay, cool. One of my favorite cards because when I started in Duel Links, it was an OP card. I just think it looks really, really good. So, definitely has that Duel Links nostalgia, which is, at this point, pretty old because I started in 2017. And I, I quit. Yeah, by the way, I don't play Duel Links anymore. But um, it was a good time. It's kind of what introduced me back into Yu-Gi-Oh! If you guys didn't know that. And it was a lot of fun. Ooh, Cyber Falcon. Yeah, even though the th the problem I had with Duel, Link Duel Links was just too expensive to keep up with. It's kind of like real Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's do an LB pack. Kind of like real Yu-Gi-Oh! But I don't actually play real Yu-Gi-Oh! I just uh, buy cards and I sell cards and stuff like that. So it is less ex expensive because when you buy on Duel Links, your money's just gone. I mean, you got the virtual cards, but you can't really do anything with those. They're just kind of there. You can play with them. That's it. Hinotama and Spirit of the Harp. So yeah, it was. that was pretty much why I quit playing because I was spending way too much money on it. All right. Let's get some good. Seven completed. Let me know if you guys ever played Duel Links and how much money you spent. A lot of people are either hardcore free-to-play or they spend a bunch of... This is ridiculous. 
This is <laughs> How many times is this going to happen? Oh my god. How many is that? Like, is that number eight on the channel or something? I think it's like seven or eight on the channel at this point. Every time we open the reprints, we get a Jinzo. Literally every single time. I, <laughs> I, I was... I was kidding about like not wanting one, but I, I knew, I was like, there's no way we get one. We get one every time. That was like seven packs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so amazing. Okay. If I had this luck, I mean, if with any other set, with any other set, well, not any other set. I like it being Jinzo, but like, if it was like LOB, the thing is, it's a secret rare. So really Jinzo is probably one of the best ones you could have that luck with, but yeah, if it was like a blue eyes or something, that'd be awesome. Even though we have had really good blue eyes luck, we've pulled, what, four now? Two uh, originals and two reprints? That was pretty awesome. Okay, let's go with another LOB. So far, no foils out of the LOB. Only three foils out of the Pharaoh Servant. And naturally, a Jinzo. I mean, <laughs> do we expect anything less when I open Pharaoh Servant? I need some first editions, that's all I know. Drooling Lizard. King Fog. We did pull... <laughs> We pulled another Grave Digger Ghoul, that's weird. We did pull the first edition in a 10k special, even though you guys, just even thinking about that still hurts. It was a long time ago at this point. That was like midsummer, and I'm still upset about it. Oh man, that was so sad. The Jinzo, and I was like, yeah, oh, didn't record it. <laughs> but I've recorded all these reprints. Okay, three more packs, and then we're going to get into that Forbidden Legacy. And... There's some pretty cool stuff. That Forbidden Legacy, those promos are actually kind of expensive in PSA 10. So if we pull like a like a good one, like Blue Eyes, then... Oh, whoa, another Nobleman. All right. Oh, and a Prohibition. That's a good rare. This is actually a super good Pharaoh Servant opening. I might actually make money on a Pharaoh Servant opening. That's like impossible. Because the Prohibition, I think, is worth 2 to $3 unlimited. I think I paid about 10 bucks per pack on these... And so with the Jinzo, you never know with Jinzo because last time he was actually worth like 70 bucks low on, on TCG, but sometimes he's worth like 30 or 40. So it just kind of depends. If he's worth 70, I think the X, well, that definitely, that broke us even right there. If he's worth 40, we'll still lose a little bit, I think. Frenzy Panda. And by the way, I'm going to be opening up some really cool old school stuff in, because we're about to hit 50K, by the way. So well, subscribe. I know we're supposed to hit it in the live stream, but we had to cut it short and we didn't quite make it, but we're almost there. And I've got some crazy, crazy packs coming up, guys. I'm talking about stuff we've never opened. Some stuff we have opened, but is incredibly epic, is coming up. So you guys are going to want to be subscribed. It's going to be really good. I'm super excited for it. Just going to be some epic moments coming. I hope epic moments. There's epic packs. You know, we have to hope for the moments part. Forest and Warrior number two. And man, those LOBs did not treat us well. But I think we're going to be fine with how those Pharaoh servants went. So... Yeah, let's just uh, let's just check that out. <laughs> Another one, Forbidden Legacy. Here we go. This is uh, this one's a little bent up. It was sold to me by a viewer, and that was pretty clutch of them. I paid like two fifty for it though, so I mean, at, I think it's like an okay price. They're kind of expensive now. Two fifty might be like retail at best. It's not a great. It's not a steal, but it's definitely okay. I'm, I'm taking this off screen, but I'm still excited about it either way. Okay, we extracted the packs. Does this thing look bent up? The Pop-Tart pack actually looks okay. I think the Pop-Tart might be okay. We might be able to get our Hot Fudge Sunday out of there nice and safe. And then we have the three packs, which also look to be in good shape, which is good. The blister was kind of beat up, but it looks like the packs survived, which is awesome. Okay, let's start with... We got to start with the... Uh, the, the um, what am I trying to say? Bruh. Let's start with the newest. Okay, let's start over here. Spell Ruler. Give us something good. These should have EN cards in them. You know what I mean? The prefix should be EN. Let's see. Yep, there it is. EN means they're from Forbidden Legacy or Master Collection for LOB, Metal Raiders, and Spell Ruler. For others, they were in different products, but this this was around like 2004, I think they changed it, maybe five. So if you see an EN card, you know it's not a 2002 or a 2003. You also know it's not a reprint 2010, 13, or 17 because they didn't have EN then. When they got, a lot of people think EN means reprint but it doesn't mean that well it technically does this is a reprint but not the newest reprint so there's the darkness approaches there's your little history lesson koto dama i know a lot of you guys appreciate that kind of stuff if you don't know it october sir we pulled two legends in one video genzo 
and the hungry burger eaten. What's this worth? Like $10 million? Okay, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Somebody's gonna take me seriously. Oh, flying common carry number one. I still get questions. Why is why is Picanio Moth valuable? <laughs> I, I, I see it for cents. And I'm like, um, I don't know what you're talking about. It's worth a lot. Hamburger. Oh my goodness, guys. Did you see that? Time out. Did you see this? Hamburger recipe and hungry bird. Time out. Time out. Let's just take a, take a minute here. Let's take a minute to sleeve these up. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful pulls. We pulled both Hungry Burger and the Ritual Spell. We're basically set. Now let's see what we can do in Metal Raiders. What do I want out of here? I want something that is an ultra rare that... Guys. What is this? Okay, first of all, I'm not looking at the gap. I'm looking at that. Do you see that? Okay, let's see what got destroyed here. Big Eye. So, big eye just got absolutely killed. So I said the packs look fine. It looks like the metal raiders Got absolutely murdered. So poor big eye. It's okay, buddy But yeah, so uh, ignore the gap pretend like you didn't see that don't get excited. There's nothing in here nothing to see here There is nothing to see here. Oh, oh uh, sorry. Never mind. I'm just getting soggy the dark clown Guardian Ian! Oh my goodness! With the Genzo in one video! Oh my goodness! Ian Gate Guardian! And it was in a damage pack. Please tell me it didn't get damaged. Oh my goodness! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is it? No, I think that's just I think it's just printed. I mean it might have a little bit of a lip there, but I think that's from printing. Oh my goodness! Gate Guardian! Ian! Oh! That is so awesome. That's crazy. That's a huge pull because Ian variants are just tough to find and that's just really awesome. We pulled an Ian Trihorn Dragon when we opened that Master Collection. Wow. Talk about an epic pull. Oh my goodness. And not to mention we got a Soggy. You got to love that card just from the anime. That This is a good Forbidden Legacy so far. We got the Burger. We've got the Gate Guardian. We had a damaged card, that kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. We're doing it big for the first members video, guys. So uh, I appreciate you guys if you have joined at this point in the video. I love all you guys, and I appreciate all you guys that support. And either way, let's see if we can pull something else big here. L-O-B. Blue Eyes. E-N. Can we do it? Flame Manipulator. Let's go. The Frenzied Panda. Silver Fang. UE Voice. Let your rip. Stop defense. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. We can we can strike out on LOB if we get a gate guardian EN. I'm taking that all day. But the fun is not over. I love this forbidden legacy stuff because you can pull not only the most epic cards from the first three sets, but then you get a chance at a secret rare, either blue eyes, dark magician, or Karibo. Our final chance at epicness. Maybe we need to summon the epic secret rare by whoa. First we have Gate Guardian. Then we have the Jinzo. Okay, those guys are gonna give us some luck back there. They're gonna give us the luck for the final Pop Tart pack. Can the Hot Fudge Sunday give us something epic? Okay, is it gonna ruin it when we first see it? I don't know if it's gonna pop up in the front or not. I can't remember. But either way, we're going right in right now. It may be the reveal right now. We might flip it over. Wait. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do here. Can I look at it like this? Okay, there's the back. There's the back. Okay, we didn't ruin it yet. The suspense. Okay, Karibo, obviously the worst one. Dark Magician in the middle, and then Blue Eyes at the top. We have pulled a Blue Eyes out of one of these before. I submitted it to get graded, you know, but it's going to be a very long time. And they're actually worth quite a bit in grading. I'll show no! a sold price if I can find one on eBay for this crazy um, FL1 version, which used to be like, I'm telling you guys, people would give these away for like a dollar. They were so cheap. And now they've gotten like really expensive when, when it comes to the near mint in the first edition. Let's see what we got. We want the blue eyes. We'll take the dark magician. We'll even take Karibo, but we really want blue eyes. Here we go. Hit the like button for luck. Yes! What an epic blister. Oh my goodness. What an opening. We opened like, okay, how many packs was that? Like, I think it was like 14 packs, including, and then the Pop-Tart, so 15. Look at what we pulled. 
FL1 Secret Rare Blue Eyes, Gate Guardian EN, and a Genzo reprint. Oh my goodness. Talk about, this might be one of the most epic videos I've ever had in terms of like amount of packs. This one's up there. This might be on the top 10 2021 pulls. That's pretty good. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. That is so awesome. I was not expecting to get crazy pulls like this. I appreciate all you guys watching, subscribing. Let's get to 50K soon. And I appreciate all you guys who joined the membership. And this was an awesome video. We're going to be doing some really cool stuff coming up. And that's it for today. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>